I have my dumplings here that I just made and I'm currently taking my Korean lesson on Rosetta Stone. Yoja Aitri Tarlyoyo. Yoja Diri Tarlyoyo. Yoja Diri Tarlyoyo. Yoja Diri Tarlyoyo. Yoja Diri Tarlyoyo. I recently started picking up Korean again because we're currently in lockdown and there's not really much for me to do so I just thought why not. I started learning about two years ago and I somehow stopped. At that time I was learning from books that I got from the bookstore and I think I stopped because I just sort of got bored of it. Um, I know how to read Hangul but my pronunciation is really bad because like I said I learned from books so even though I know how to read the sentence most of the time I don't really know what it means. Hopefully this year I'll be able to improve my vocab and my grammar so that I'll be able to multitask while watching my K-dramas without having to constantly staring at the subtitles in order to understand what they're saying. I can say a few simple sentences like 안녕하세요, 저는 크리스틴입니다. 저는 말레이시아 사람이에요. Um, and also stuff you say when you're trying to order something like 이거 하나 주세요. 이거 얼마 이거 이거 얼마예요? 그리고 아 uh, 이거는 강아지예요. <laughs> As you can tell, my pronunciation is not that good, which is also why I really love the way it teaches you on Rosetta Stone. Um, it kind of feels like you're playing a game, taking a quiz with all these flashcards, just as how you would teach a little kid that's just starting to learn how to speak. It's really new and interesting to me because it doesn't make you memorize all the Korean alphabets for the first few lessons. You just start by learning basic words like 여자 아이. Namja Ai, that kind of stuff, just like how we learned A for Apples before Ball, Papa, Mama. So, yeah, I'm currently still on first lesson because there's quite a number of chapters in each lesson. I'm excited to see how the classes will be like as I become more advanced. I'll leave all the links down below where you guys can check out all their monthly subscription packages. And if you use my link, with just $199, you can get lifetime unlimited access to Rosetta Stone and learn as many languages as you want. You can take the next 10 years to pick up 10 new languages with just this one-off payment, which in my opinion is a really great deal. I'm also interested in learning Spanish, but I'll just take it one step at a time and just focus on Korean as of now. Thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for working with me and now let's get back to studying <laughs> I'm just gonna do three classes for today Ju Namja Ai Diri Suyong Heo Namja Ai Diri Suyong Heo Shinmun Shinmun you know Chinese New Year is near when you have Park Wan just laying around your house. I need scissors. I think this year is gonna be the first time we are celebrating Chinese New Year at home. And I don't think we're doing anything special besides eating. <laughs> I'm currently watching 18 again on Netflix. It's so good. I'm on the last two episodes now. Ah, 
Today, I am gonna be attempting to bake cinnamon roll for the very first time. I don't really know how to bake. I've never baked more than five times in my life. But here, I have a baking kit from Chef Kuit. I really love the packaging of it. And, and in the box, it comes with all of the ingredients that's already measured and packaged individually. So I guess these are the wet ingredients. Butter, the milk. In this kit, it already comes with all of the ingredients that I need. All I need to do is just mixing it together and put it in the oven. So this is great for a beginner like me. Milk and egg. This is so cool. I made a mistake by not letting the butter melt first so it's like really clumpy now and I'm not sure what to do at this point I kind of don't trust myself in baking now because the butter is still in solid form but I'm just gonna go with it it literally says here please use room temperature butter and milk and I didn't listen So I ended up with 14 cinnamon rolls. I think it's because I cut them a little too small. Oops. Oh no! I have to move it to the smaller tray because this is too big for my oven. some almond milk here along with my cinnamon roll mm, so good look at this roll hi good morning oops i forgot to clean this mirror I spent the entire day yesterday cleaning my room because Chinese New Year is just around the corner. I also reported these guys, added more soil and got some liquid fertilizer for them. And I feel like they just got a lot healthier looking overnight, which is great. And I have a little monster plant here that I'm currently propagating. I also went to the clinic yesterday to get my eyes checked because a few months ago, I noticed that there's this little bump under my inner eyelid, like under my bottom eyelid right here 
I won't show you guys how it looks like but it's like really red I can literally feel there's something underneath here as compared to this part where there's nothing so um, I just kept putting it off and think that it will go away after a few months I'm sorry about the construction noise it just won't go away and I don't have the time to wait for it to go before I film so I'll try to cut it off as much as possible but um so I went to the clinic yesterday and apparently there's a blockage in my tear gland which is nothing big it's just really annoying and it's really scary to look at the doctor told me that it's nothing big I don't have to worry about it I don't have to go through a surgery to remove it which is great because that's the thing that I'm most scared of I just have to reduce my screen time and make sure that my eyes don't get too dry so I have to constantly put on this eye drop to keep them moist I still can wear my contact lens and stuff like that and hopefully in a few months time it will just go away by its own um, yeah he also said that this is pretty common for people who spend long period of time on their phone or on their laptop and when your eyes get really dry it tends to produce more tears to keep it moisturized so that's how I got like blockage in my tear gland because it was producing way too much tears I guess I don't know I don't know how it happened but I'm just glad that it's nothing big because I was really scared that it's some type of parasite from my dirty contact lens because my mom always sent me those type of articles on Facebook and yeah I was really really scared so yeah I'm all good um, I just have to put on this thing I finally got a bed frame I really like that the headboard is thick and squishy It's kind of like sweet but not really And it's also waterproof which is great But it's also a little bit big for my room And my room looks a lot smaller than it was before Yeah. Now I have this little spot to put my camera I just thought it would be nice to invest in a good bed frame because I have pretty sensitive nose and sometimes when my room gets a little dusty I would wake up with like super itchy nose so yeah I got a bed frame and now I just have to figure out what to do with this mess Ta-da!